everyone, I'm Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Welcome back. If you like the recipes, please subscribe to the channel. Today we're making an easy ramen noodle stir fry and it has a bunch of veggies in it. For those of you who don't eat ramen noodles because they're generally fried full of fat and they come in packages that, you know, aren't, aren't very healthy, I love these. We buy them at Costco. You can also get them at Whole Foods. They are made with um, millet and brown rice. They are not fried. And literally, we have these three tiny little cakes for six servings because there's so many veggies. So this is mostly veggies with ramen noodles. And so we're going to put this to the side. So I'm going to add tofu today. You don't have to. It's an optional item. So I marinated one block of tofu, extra firm tofu. I cut it into like half inch cubes and I marinated it in two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of rice vinegar overnight. So I'm gonna throw that on my air fryer pan. You can also bake this or you can do it on the grill. You can actually do it in a skillet too, but I'm using the stove for other things. So I'm gonna use it in the air fryer. In the air fryer, you set it at 375 degrees. Make sure that you preheat your air fryer it makes a big difference, and especially if you're doing it in um, like ships where you're doing like just small amounts and you don't have a big one. I have a big air fryer. I'm gonna do it in one shot, but I'm gonna preheat it and I'm gonna cook it 10 to 15 minutes, shake it around a little bit halfway through while it cooks. The rest of this also takes about 10 minutes. The ramen noodles take literally three minutes. This, all of this cutting and everything done in 30 minutes or less and it's super light meal, perfect for summer. So my pot of water is starting to boil here. I am going to add, I have a wok, and you want to preheat it to about medium, medium high. You don't have to put any oil in the pan. I have a non-stick one, it's a scan pan, I love it. But if you get a little stick, all you gotta do is add a little vegetable broth or water, just a tiny, tiny bit. So we have an inch, of ginger that I grated, fresh ginger. You could also use ginger paste if you like. I have a half a cup of green onions and those are diced up. And I have two cloves of garlic that are minced. And we're just gonna let that sizzle up a little bit until those onions start to cook a little bit. Let's get this out of the way. And I hear my little thing going off over here, so I'm going to pop this in the air fryer and get that tofu cooking. We can reheat it in the pan right at the end. Now once these onions, as you can see, they're starting to sizzle up and leave, give off some water, we're going to add 16 ounces of mushrooms. Sliced, I chose portobello, baby portobello mushrooms. <coughs> you can really use any type of mushroom that you like. And we're gonna let that cook up a little bit. Now, the ramen noodles, you wanna make sure that your pot is boiling and you wanna make sure there's salt in the water. So we're not quite boiling yet, so I'm gonna make the sauce. The key to a perfect stir fry is not to add the sauce until the very, very end. And when I mean the end, I mean two seconds and you heat it up a little bit where it gets all soggy and we don't like soggy anything. So. We have um, an inch and a half of ginger, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. I have one tablespoon of chili sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of maple syrup all in this little dish because I was running out of my little dishes today. Cooking too many things with little dishes. And I have a half a cup of miso paste. I have a clove of garlic. And I have one quarter cup of water. And let's stir these mushrooms around a little bit until they start to break down and turn brown. And put the top on tight, let her spin. Okay, again, it takes two seconds to make the dressing. You can also, if you don't have a blender, you can whisk these um, ingredients together. 
You do, though, want to make sure you let that water soak into that miso so it gets easier to whisk. And these mushrooms are ready to go. So what are we going to do? We're going to add this broccoli. The broccoli takes the longest to cook. It takes about five to seven minutes. And the way that you know that the broccoli is done and ready to go, not too overcooked, not too undercooked, is it starts to turn dark green. And my pan is boiling over here, so I'm going to carefully, so I don't splash myself, I'm going to add these ramen noodles. And they literally take three minutes to cook boiling. You're going to use a fork to kind of get them moving a little bit so they separate. And then once they're done, we're going to throw them in a colander before and drain them before we add them to the stir fry. I want to show you this cute little gadget I have. It helps it so you can move that tofu around without having to use anything like a spatula. It's a great little tool. So that has a couple minutes left. The noodles are done. So I'm going to drain them in the colander. And while those are draining, I'm going to add, see how this broccoli is all green, dark green? That means it's done. So I'm going to add one and a half cups of red cabbage, which is purple. I don't know why they call it red. One cup of white cabbage and one red bell pepper cut into bite-sized pieces. And those vegetables literally take just a couple of minutes just to heat through. You want them a little crunchy, not too soft. And I'm gonna grab this tofu. Which looks delicious. Nice and crunchy. I think somebody's going in for a bite. I think I see big, do I see fingers grabbing that? No, not yet? Too hot. Too hot. Okay, so we're gonna stir this around. Exactly. And let that just get heated through. Then we're going to take these ramen noodles and we're going to add it to the stir fry. As you can see, they're all cooked and beautifully done. Yum! And then we're going to add our tofu. You do not have to add tofu. If you don't like tofu, leave it off. It's still great without it. And now after I give it one more round to make sure that cabbage is softened, softened up a little bit, I'm going to add the sauce. You want to add the sauce last. That is the key to happiness of a stir fry. Of course, I lost my spatula because that happens. On the suck. Here it is. I want to get every little bit of that sauce out of there. Okay. And then we're going to turn that heat off. And we're going to stir that sauce in. A little bit of sauce goes a very, very long way. Nobody likes soggy anything. And we're going to serve this up with some peanuts on top, also optional, and some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, Thai basil is fabulous, and if you don't have Thai basil, try a little of just regular basil, and that's a great substitute as well. Okay, I'm gonna put the serve it up, and Paul's gonna Paul's going into the taste test. So what, what, what are we calling this Easy one? Easy ramen noodle stir fry. Easy. I'm always afraid of broccoli when it comes right out of the thing because it's so hot. Well, then you stay away from that broccoli. I think I'm gonna stay away from it for a little bit. I'm gonna get a get a mushroom, some cilantro, and of course a peanut. You like those peanuts? Mmm, tofu. Tofu, tofu, tofu. Mmm. Mmm. 
Love it. I'm going to try broccoli. I burn your face. I know. Not that bad. Mmm. Al dente. Al dente. Very good. All Two right. thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Easy ramen noodle stir fry. Comment below. Bye.